Hello and welcome into Mud's Closet. Today I am starting seeds and I thought I would just show you a few of the different ways that I do that and with what I do it with, what things I recycle and reuse and which things I don't. I am drinking tea today. Today it's a Formosa Oolong from Adagio and um, this is really nice. This was a gift to me and I uh, first and then I reordered. It's kind of Swedish, not Swedish, um, sweet-ish. And um, Formosa is what we now call Taiwan. So it's a, a tea grown in Taiwan. Oolong is um, partially oxidized, um, more than green tea, less than black tea, and kind of um, partial in each. And you can just uh, see how really beautiful um, that cup of tea is. So, um, yeah, so let's get started. So I have this tray that I've prepared. And um, one of the things that I wanted to start with was the preparation, how we get organized. And the first thing that I like to do is to get the calendar organized, which I talked about on the um, video titled Seeds, 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 Getting Started. And you wanna gather all your stuff Make sure you have um, everything that you need. You want to prepare the flats, and um, I'll put a link for this flat in um, underneath. This flat comes with pellets like this in each uh, cavity, and you just set that in there. And they come up to be this, and then I use my fancy high-tech tool, the chopstick, to kind of break that up. And you can use cool water or warm water. I find it goes much faster with warm water, if that matters to you. Plus, it's a little more comfortable for me rather than putting my hand in ice cold stuff. Um, but basically, that's it for this kind of tray. Um, it comes with a solid flat and a lid that will go on top of it when I put it on the growing shelf. So um, this first row I'm going to start uh, Black Beauty eggplants and these seeds are uh, from 2017 so I'm going to put um, first with my fancy tool I'm just gonna make some little holes in there for the seeds to fall in. Two seeds in each um, cavity not too deep and these seeds are a lot like uh, pepper seed um, a little bit like a tomato seed a lot like uh, a tomatillo seed so I'm just gonna put one in each of those little places and then cover it up now for the seeds to germinate, for these seeds to germinate, they need to be wet, um, there needs to be some moisture, and they need to have contact with the soil, and um, they need to be warm. So that's why these will be going over the heating element. And this really is all there is to it. And yes, I um, did spend some time preparing before I started the video, but not a whole lot. And um, and that's it. My dad always used to say when you bury a seed, you want it to be two to three times the size of the seed deep. I hope that made sense. Um, so small seeds don't go very deep, large seeds go uh, a little deeper. So this first row um, is planted and I'll come back and do that, um, that one as soon as it, it expands. But I have these from last year, I'm reusing them, I just have Black Beauty and the date and I'm going to put that right in there so that I don't miss it. Um, this particular setup came with some papers 
that that were blocked out like this but I didn't see them until I poured the water in um, underneath to get the little pellets to expand so I I ruined those uh, but sometimes you can draw out a map and if you do that it's important to designate you know what side you're on um, so when I do that kind of thing if I'm drawing out what I have here and there I'll put some sort of indicator in so that I know this is the row that has that where I'm starting from. Um, I also use popsicle sticks and my Sharpie to mark rows if I need to. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is this um, California Wonder. And all peppers, uh, all sweet peppers, I'll say, um, start green and as they ripen, they ripen to different colors. So um, we really like colored peppers. Um, we use them a lot. I really like the sweetness of them. And so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put two or three seeds in each cavity. And there is a, um, there is a tool called a dibbler, and I just um, like saying that name. That's kind of like a chopstick, but a little more... Uh, Design, it's designed a little differently. Um, but like I say, this is what I have. And every now and then more than one seed is falling in. And that's okay. When the time comes, my experience has told me that peppers um, that sweet peppers and tomatoes are very tenacious. They're very easy to um, separate the roots of if you're very careful. Uh, eggplants, not so much. Other items, not so much. Um, some, some root structures are really fragile and when you try to thin them out or separate them, you damage all the plants. So. If that's the case, if I have more growing, say, in the eggplant um, cavities that I want and the roots become entwined, if I try to separate them or tease the roots apart, I damage them. So in that case, I would just use my scissors and snip all but the strongest plant. And there's my California Wonder Red. I'm going to just put that in there. And I don't want these packed down too tightly but like I said I need to have the soil in contact with the seed in order for it to germinate and then I'll, I'll just um, work my way down so that for now is good next and I'm gonna just work right here I want to plant some greens so um, I have already some soil in here. I just want to break it up a little bit. I have had some water in here. Um, this pot is something that I had some things outside in uh, last year. And I'm just, I added a little more potting soil to it. A little bit of compost. We do compost virtually all of our compostable items. Um, and we get compost from the city compost every spring. I think I, I just got some stuff in my tea, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna just dampen this a little bit. And um, I just want some greens in here. And this is the kind of thing that we can be clipping as soon as they start to come up and the things that I have here to plant I have uh, from the Seed Savers Exchange this lettuce is called flame and it's red I like that a lot there's just I'm just gonna take a little just a few and sprinkle them kind of in a little cluster then I have um, some organic kale And again, these seeds are a little bit different, and I'm just going to sprinkle some of those in. 
I have um, then this uh, spicy mesclun mix that um, is a mix of tango, royal oak leaf, red salad bowl, red sails, black seeded Simpson, Grand Rapids, arugula, green endive, Mizuna mustard. Uh, so this is going to give us some, again, just some something different in there. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. And then uh, <clears throat> lastly, I just want some Black Seeded Simpson. And this is just a little package. Black Seeded Simpson is like a very common um, lettuce. It grows well. I'm just going to sprinkle that here and there. This will be a lot of, um, if it all grows, this is going to be a lot in here. And that's fine. I'm, I'm prepared to thin it out as necessary. And I'm just going to ruffle this up a little bit to move the seeds down. You could, if you wanted, take a little bit of soil and press it on the top. I do have plans for floating row covers and um, some coal frames. We got some windows um, free, we salvaged. Uh, and so um, I actually have those out already. It's March 2nd to help the ground start to heat. And so if these start coming up, I can um, transplant and separate. And that's that. So um, the other kind of labeling that I'll show you is uh, this, which I, these are really pretty cool. So I'm just going to make a note to myself, greens and March 2nd, and then that'll go on the shelf. The last thing that I want to show you, um, that I'm, that I'm starting today, uh, and I'm reusing, this is a, a pie, a pie came in here. And I um, wanted to plant some leeks. And leeks are pretty interesting and a whole lot of fun to grow. Uh, the one thing that I have found is that over time, the germination of things in the onion family uh, become reduced. So I'm going to just really, really plant these, sprinkle these heavily in kind of a pie-shaped section. I'm just going to use that whole pack. I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'll refill that and just lightly cover them. Now, this is where uh, you know, some things are very high techy techy and some things are very low techy techy. This is very low tech and, um, and it really works fine for me. Like I say, I'll fill that, that back in. I have this piece of string. that I'm just going to designate there. And once they start coming up, I will recognize what they are. Uh, I have a little stick there that says leaks, and then the plastic lid will go on top of that to help um, keep the heat in to germinate. And I just have this lid from a coffee can that'll go on um, on the greens to just keep some heat in and keep things dark while these seeds are germinating. And then once they germinate, this will come off. It's something that my mom always did and it works amazingly well. It does not work for every type of seed because some types of seeds need light in order to germinate. So you wanna know if that's the kind of what whatever it is that you're growing. But otherwise, that's just gonna set right on there and go on the shelf with some heat. The lids will go on these and go on the shelf with some heat and um, I'll show you the progress. If you have questions or um, want to see something specific, let me know. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to say 
uh, right now is that I got these pots from the Dollar Tree. There's eight of them for a dollar and they're four inches and they also have a larger one that I think has six in it, six pots for a dollar. They're very, um, they're pretty thin, like, like pretty thin. But when it's time to plant up, these I really use a lot of and they're the kind of thing that if they're in good shape at the end of the season, I rinse them with bleach water and use them the following year. Um, I won't be using them probably anytime soon, probably not for a month or two, a month or six weeks maybe, but they're in the stores now and online now. So you could, uh, if you needed to, grab a couple for a buck. I just, I feel like that's a good investment to have on hand. So that's all. Leave me a comment. Um, get some seeds started and uh, tell me what you're doing. Have a great day. Thanks, friends.